We were talking about breaking through and, and how breaking through comes from persistence and variety and creativity and adding other elements to the process. But I want to talk to you now about critical mass because critical mass is that exciting period where your, uh, your efforts begin to have this cumulative effect. Um, uh, I think they call that the network effect. And that is when uh, you're doing enough over a period of time that um, even things that are um, far apart in the network start to connect and you start to have this this uh, cumulative impact that uh, is very exciting when you see it. Um, uh, when, uh, when I used to, um, when I worked in corporate America, one of the things we would do is uh, I would be out there in a business development role and I would look for partners for our media division. And many of these partners would uh, had similar business models uh, that, that we had, uh, you know, the business model we had at the time was a subscription business model. People paid a monthly fee to get access to our news and information. And that information was sent to um, uh, essentially redistributors who could redistribute it in their market, whether they were cable televisions or um, whether they were radio or, or newspapers. Um, in some cases, they weren't redistributing it per se, but they were using it maybe even as wire copy to read on the radio or to, to use on television. And when we, when we would do business development deals, we would look at the, the um, companies that were selling products and services like us, information like us, we would try to do joint ventures with them. And one of the things we would look at is the their subscription model and at what point they would reach a critical mass. So you would have a period of time where you're selling, you're adding subscribers every month, you're adding a few every month, you're adding, you know, you're doing that consistently and that's building and that's building. But still, no one knows your company, no one knows your product, no one really knows you except the people who buy the product. Uh, but then there is a period of time where there's a cumulative effect. And that cumulative effect we, we like to call critical mass. That means you've reached a significant number of people that, that more people are beginning to hear about you and know about you and are using your products than are not. Now, in the scheme of things, this still is a very small number, but it's a significant enough number <clears throat> that you start to see a turn in the market. And that's really exciting. So a lot of times you, you hear about a company and you hear about them and you think, um, wow, this is an interesting company. And then you realize they've been around 10 years, 15 years, 20 years. And that's because they've reached a, crim uh, a critical mass. Uh, I almost said criminal. Uh, a critical mass. And uh, during that critical mass, they've reached a stage where they are becoming more visible to more people. I think Target was like that. Target started uh, around the same time that Walmart started um, and became popular, um, but you know they, they, they made some twists and turns and they became very popular, I don't know, what was it, maybe a decade ago, maybe uh, 15 years ago, they became really popular, but they had been around a long time. So critical mass is what you're aiming for when you're <coughs> When you're pitching constantly, when you're, you're selling constantly, and you're servicing constantly, and you're out there constantly, you're, you're striving for a critical mass. And that's when things get exciting, because that's when enough people know what you're doing, know about your products, know about your services, and the market then begins to develop its like momentum on its own. It's like a snowball effect. Uh, and that's very exciting, because then you have uh, in effect, nodes on the network, people on the network who are selling on your behalf. They're interconnecting with other people. It's a very exciting thing, but you've got to stick with it long enough to get there. You've got to stick with it long enough to get there. A lot of companies and a lot, certainly a lot of entrepreneurs never get there because they just don't stick with it long enough. Um, I used to um, be a musician and I would talk to some of the old 
musicians that would that would be coming through uh, and and playing in New York City and talking to them about their careers. In fact, one of my hobbies is I love to read about musicians and how they develop their careers and and um, what happened. And it's always fascinating to see the the grunt work that was involved, the step by step, and and the. <clears throat> the gigging with this person and the playing on this person's album and the playing at this festival and doing this and that. And then they reach a stage where there's a critical mass, where there's a certain number of people who begin to know about them. Now, sometimes it could take, you know, some people it takes a few years, but some people it takes 10, 15 years, 20 years. You know, I remember when, uh, when was it? I think it was Bonnie Raitt when she won a Grammy Award. This might have been one of her Grammys, I think, in the... I forget when it was. It was probably the 90s uh, when this happened. But I remember there was a lot of appreciation for her because she had been at it so long. And the people in the business looked at her and said, you know, she deserves it. She's been at this a long time. So that's, the, that's what you're striving for, that critical mass, that critical mass of people who um, have your products and services, who have uh, intersected with you, who know about you, who value you, and that's when things begin to take off. That's when you start to see the momentum that's so exciting. And it's wonderful to see when you see that uh, in businesses. Uh, I was mentioning this before in another video, but a client of mine was saying, Andre, you know, I've been at this 25 years and we've just hit our stride. We're just at a point where we figured this out. We're, we're getting the press, we're getting the recognition, we're getting the sponsorship, we're getting the participation. Uh, and that's exciting when that happens. Hopefully it won't be 20 years for you. Uh, it won't be 15 years for you. It'll be shorter than that. But you do have to stick with whatever you're doing long enough to have that kind of impact. And look, the bottom line is you're better off sticking with it than not sticking with it. You're better off doing it than not doing it. Um, I started uh, my career probably formally in business in 1980, but before that I was uh, uh, selling things in my basement and I was working in midnight to eight in the morning in restaurants and uh, I was knocking on doors selling garden seeds as, as a kid. Uh, and it was about a decade in corporate America or more that I worked before I started my own company full time. Uh, before that, I was dabbling on the weekend. Um, and the company that I'm focused on now, um, I started in 2001 and have been uh, working at it every day, working with clients every day, all uh, across the country, all around the world, every day, developing content, selling, servicing consulting, doing all sorts of things with them. So um, it's a good thing that I love it. <laughs> and I hope you love what you do because reaching critical mass takes some time. Uh, and here's another tip. There are always more people who value you and, and recognize you and appreciate you than might be apparent uh, at first. Um, I've had so many instances where We've been on the phone talking to an organization about something and someone will say, oh yes, I remember Andre came uh, through here a few years back and spoke to our group and I was very excited to meet him and uh, I enjoyed that. In fact, not long ago I was doing a keynote in, in Indianapolis and a young man, uh, uh, I call him a young man, he was probably in his, in his 50s actually, 40s or 50s, but he came up to me afterwards and he said, you know, I remember you from the 90s when you came through here with your company, you were at the NFL Combine and you were presenting uh, your technology solutions. And I remember you and I remember seeing you uh, involved in orchestrating all this. And now you're coming back here um, you know, more than 20 years later, uh, giving a keynote and talking about um, some of those very experiences. Um, so it's interesting how uh, critical mass um, happens and how your career and your business evolves by just really sticking with it and uh, your, your, your tentacles will stretch and what will happen is you'll start to intersect with people and and uh, you'll look back and you say look I'm glad I'm, I'm really stuck with this so that's the goal the goal is critical mass critical mass whether it's 
locally, whether it's nationally, whether it's internationally, but when you reach that critical mass, that's when things really get fun. That's when business gets even more fun. That's when you start making more money. That's when there's more profit. That's when it becomes easier. That's when you know what the heck you're doing and you can do it. You can replicate it every day. Uh, and that's when it really gets exciting. I hope you'll stick with it until you start to see critical mass. If you like this tip, give me a thumbs up. Let me know. Uh, make sure you're subscribed to this channel and make sure you share it with someone who will benefit and value from this information. There's a lot of information out there. I'd like to think mine is a little different and I hope you do too. And I hope you'll stick with me and, uh, and I will see you next time. I'll see you next time.